Whoa, whoa. Hey everyone, how's it going? I just want to quickly say before the video starts uh, that I am currently offering private tutoring uh, online via Skype uh, on how to make video games in Unity 3D. That's the program I use to make this little experiment and basically all the other games that you see on my channel. Uh, I have a playlist list uh, in the uh, description of this video of a bunch of different video games that I've made. Uh, but yeah, I can teach you how to make video games as well. So if that's something you're interested in, there is some more information in the description below about that. Uh, so yeah, why don't we go ahead and jump into this video and talk about what the heck this virtual experiment thing is. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the Master Indie YouTube channel. I am coming to you from virtual reality. My name is Eric Tereshinsky and I am a dude who likes to program things in Unity 3D and make video games. Uh, this is just a uh, experimental virtual reality project uh, and I figured it would be a good way for me to uh, come and talk to you on the YouTube channel. It actually, it really feels like I'm looking at a webcam right now and talking to you through a video uh, right now, just like I would do in real life, uh, except this is, you know, virtual reality. Uh, another cool thing I can do, I can hit this button. Whoops, let me move my mouse. Click there. Whoops, wrong click. Let's come back to that feature in a second. Um, but I can press oh, wrong button. There we go. I can press that button. And where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Um, yeah, and then the camera moves and I can actually see where you move. And if I press it again, I think, yeah, there you, wait, no, there you are. Let me get that out of the way. Um, now you're over there. And now you're up in a tree, and I can actually look back at you over there. And I'm going to press it again, and now you're back over there. Uh, and then I can bring my controls over here and click. And then you can actually see what I see. Um, so yeah, I just thought this was uh, a really interesting way to, uh, you know, connect with people through virtual reality and YouTube. Like, it really feels like... I'm using virtual camera equipment and, you know, maybe I'm just like, oh, wait, let me, I gotta keep on looking out of my headset. That's my, why my head keeps going up and down. I gotta look out of my headset to actually see the button on my keyboard. Uh, but, you know, just like a real TV show, I can be like, oh, that camera angle's boring. I'm gonna go to this camera angle now. Now you can watch me, oops, wrong apple. You can watch me pick up and throw an apple. Wow, that's amazing. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, this setup's just cool and fun. Uh, so let me, why don't, why don't I go ahead and actually talk to you more about what, let me check out the screen, make sure it's recording the right thing, yeah. Um, so let me, why don't I go ahead and talk to you more about what the heck this little experimental project is. Um, so it's all about this arm that's floating in front of me. Um, and you might be thinking, oh, that's just his real arm. No, it is not. This is not my real arm. You see this hand right here? Oh, here, I'm gonna, I can, I can grab the camera. Uh, I can't actually grab the camera. I can just like gesture to it. I can make it so I could grab the camera if I programmed that. But anyways, um, this hand is not my real hand. My real hand is resting at my side in real life. Uh, this is a virtual prosthetic arm. Um, oh, there you are up in the tree. That's a better view. So this is a virtual prosthetic arm. Um, I'm only controlling it with my head. And that's kind of crazy to think, right? Because it looks really lifelike. I didn't actually realize how lifelike this arm looks until I've actually played back the recording of this video. Uh, I did some test recordings before this and I saw, wow, this setup is eerily realistic. And, it, you know, I mean the only real motion that you're getting is from my head and then the hand just matches that but it looks and feels so natural there i'm picking up a book i'm gonna bring it to my face so i can read it uh, except it's upside down whatever i'm gonna throw it Hi -ya! <laughs> but yeah and i'm gonna pick up a pencil Rah! and just threw it at the camera <laughs> uh, but yeah with a little bit of practice you can actually pick up and throw things and that alone is uh, really fun and satisfying 
Um, let's get another camera angle to make things exciting. Yeah, now it's like a rap video or something. I feel like looking up like that. I don't know, it's so cool, like looking up, I actually see, oh, I mean, it's just a cylinder, but it actually feels like I'm looking up at a camera, which is just really cool. Um, yeah, I, I just, this setup is so much fun to record in, having the camera move all around me and being able to look at the camera and talk to the camera. Uh, but anyways, let me focus. Uh, this is a virtual prosthetic arm. I guess let me first talk about why did I decide to make this thing or, you know, what got me started working on this thing. Well, really it just started because I came up with an idea. Um, so the idea of advanced prosthetic limbs has always been uh, a really interesting idea to me. Um, you know, both in like the sci-fi world and the real world. Like I've always been interested in you know, how far can technology go to make somebody who's missing a part of their body feel like they have that body part back again, like, you know, their arm or something. Uh, you know, like the movie Robocop or, you know, Luke Skywalker from Star Wars. Um, you know, that, oh wait, you're back in the tree. There you are. You know, it just, it always seemed like a really interesting idea to me. But, you know, I've never really had the robotics capability to build an advanced uh, prosthetic arm. Uh, but what I do have is the ability to make uh, something in virtual reality and play around with things in a video game world. And I got to thinking, could I come up with an input system uh, for a virtual prosthetic arm and worry about the mechanics of the real prosthetic arm later, if ever at all, because I'm probably never going to make an actual prosthetic arm. This is just a ex virtual experiment. Um, but if I was just going to make the controls of a virtual prosthetic arm, what would the controls be? Because I can make this virtual prosthetic arm do exactly what I want it to do. And I was like, well, I could use the motion of the body to aim where the hand goes and actually when this uh, demo when I first started working on it the hand was nothing more than just a sphere that would float in front of my face and when I leaned it would move with me and you can see when I lean up and down it can go up and down as well um, and then later I replaced it with a hand that just rotates according to where that fake elbow is going to be like let's see maybe that angle shows off my elbow a little bit better or well my virtual elbow there I go calling it my real elbow when really I'm talking about my virtual elbow um, but it really does feel like my real elbow um, and I think just the hand orienting itself to that elbow just feels really realistic uh, and then tilting my head left to right just tw twists my wrist and then looking up and down closes the hand so that's how I can pick up things num 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 whoops I don't have it calibrated perfectly <laughs> but uh, yeah you can almost pick up things let me try to pick up this cup it's gonna be a little hard to reorient it from this position yeah, I'm just gonna throw it instead <laughs> that's more fun uh, where's my keyboard? Okay, so now you're from the low angle. Let me, would you like an apple? <laughs> Let me actually move that out of your way. Roar. See, this is so immersive how I'm like, let me move that out of your way. I mean, you're not really there. It's a virtual camera that I'm looking at, but it just feels so immersive. Uh, even though I also don't even have a real arm right here. It's just a virtual prosthetic arm. It really feels like my arm. So I guess that really is what this experiment comes down to. It's just, I don't know, if you, in a perfect world, how would you like to control a prosthetic arm? And if I was missing an arm in real life, uh, I have both my arms in real life, by the way. I know you can't see me because I'm invisible and all you can see is my headset and my virtual arm, but I have both my arms in real life. But if I was missing my arm in real life and I had to have a prosthetic limb, I would want this one, but the problem is that it's it's a virtual one. I can't have this one in real life, and real life is where where it would be useful. You know, I can reach out and pick up some food and actually eat it. I can practically 
Whoop. Write my name. E. R. R. I. R. I almost dropped it. C. Okay. Yeah, E R I C Eric. I actually you can't see it on the table. I just kind of outlined it, but I can actually write my name on the table, uh, which is just something that just is weird and so cool that this isn't my real arm. Oh, uh, that brings me to another point. This could potentially be a treatment for phantom limb pain. I looked up a little bit about uh, information about phantom limb pain. Um, oops, no, you're back over there. Um, and phantom limb pain is when you lose a limb and uh, I guess because your uh, neuron connections and your brain still are connected uh, to where your limb or your hand used to be, it's like tingly and sharp and you get this phantom pain of you feel like there should be a hand there but you don't have it there anymore. And one treatment for that that I've seen is augmented reality, where you match up where your hand would be in real life, and then you take a video of yourself uh, live, and then watch that video, and then you combine this like virtual 3D model of an arm that matches up with your uh, what's left of your arm in real life, and then it the video is kind of like a mirror that makes you feel like you have your arm again. And I guess that is like kind of like a treatment to help ease uh, phantom limb pain. Um, but this arm is so immersive and it feels so much like my real arm. I feel like this itself could almost be a treatment for phantom limb pain. Even though this arm is made out of cubes and looks like a little robot arm. Like I still look over at my elbow and like it totally feels and looks like my elbow. And like spending enough time I start like picking up things and start gesturing with these things and like you know throwing things and things like that uh, why don't I go ahead and spend a little bit of time uh, so that you can actually see in first person uh, what this system is like so I'm gonna reach over there and pick up that apple so the great thing if I don't want this hand right in front of my face I can lean over and the hand moves according to my body movement not where I look so I'm able to move my hand independently from where I'm looking. That's why I can like look at my elbow and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to lean towards the apple and I can go up and down as well. Um, and then uh, tilt down to close my hand. And then I can bring it back towards me. Ah, I wasn't tilting my head enough. I need to calibrate it. Um, uh, there is a little bit more math I could make to make this hand just feel a little bit better, especially when you're bringing things to your mouth. Uh, but at least picking up things and throwing them. Rah! It works really well and is really satisfying. So let me go back into third person view. Alright, so now you can see me again. Um, so yeah, I think I've rambled on long enough in this video. Um, I don't really know what, you know, I'm probably just going to upload this, let people download it. Uh, people who are interested in this little experimental thing but mostly I just thought that this would make an interesting video and this channel really needed some videos. Um, in the near future I'm definitely going to uh, release more stuff in virtual reality because I am really excited about virtual reality. I ordered an HTC Vive. Uh, the ability to get up and walk around your room and uh, to have controllers that move exactly one-to-one -one in the 3D world, like, it just totally brings a whole new level to video games, and I want to make video games for it. So I've ordered my HTC Vive, and I am going to start making games for that totally ASAP, because that just looks like so much fun. I have had a chance to try one. It was just totally a blast, like, best 10 minutes of my life, seriously. Um, got to play Spy Space Pirate Trainer, that was just amazing. Um, but yeah, I think this video has gone on long enough, so I guess uh, until my next video, I will see you later. Oh, I was going to throw it at the camera. Oh, oh wait, that was... What the heck was that? Okay, let's try that again. Grab it. I threw it at the camera. <laughs> okay, until my next video, I'll see you later, and keep making games. Let me take my headset off now. This part looks funny.
Ah!